there, folks. Um, yeah, today, uh, probably a little bit of a special, in all fairness. Um, I'm just going to talk about the telly, which isn't a television at all. Um, because a lot of people asked, um, I know Greg did a video recently, and other people have asked, how do you convert a normal TV that works off of um, 240 volt to work in a van? Um, well, I'm not going to answer that question, um, but I'll tell you what I've done instead. Right, so a bit of James Bond action going on. That is my drop-down TV. Um, and it's on a little bracket, Ooh, which I can't move at the moment because everything's kind of tied up. But yeah, there's all the wires there and everything else. Um, and then underneath it is a sound bar. Right, so it is actually a 12-volt TV, but it's also a USB TV. So you can actually power it via USB. Now I keep saying TV, it isn't a TV, it's called an IPS panel. Essentially it's just a computer monitor. Um, 17 point something inches um, and yeah it is just a monitor. You've got HDMI, USB, all that kind of stuff at the side. So what I've done is I've plugged my fire stick in there and I've powered my fire stick from the USB in the side of it. And then this is a sound bar which I've attached to the bracket that the TV's on. Um, and the soundbar is actually uh, 12 volts. So everything is either native 12 volts, or like I said, this, you can actually power off USB. Um, and then to view content, basically I'm just using Fire Stick with a Fire Stick remote. Um, and then you get a little remote as well. The speakers that are built into that are pretty naff, in all fairness. Um, so yeah, you just get a little remote for the soundbar. Now, why did I change from the last TV? Um, basically because, well, it was a bit naff picture quality. There's a particular channel I love watching, um, Beard Meets Food, where he always puts the time of his challenge, food challenge at the top corner. Um, and such was the bad placement of the image on the old TV that the actual clock was being cut off so the colors were a bit naff there's just the sound was bad and all that kind of stuff the speakers were at the back so more sound went out of the van and if you walk past the van you could hear everything that was going on on the tv than was being cast in the van so i got this um to kind of like get around that problem but i never actually used it so oh, i just can't be bothered and then it wasn't until I decided that I was going to change the TV to something different that I got that. So it's got two HDMI ports on there. Like I say, mine's uh, got the Fire Stick, the Amazon Fire Stick in there at the moment. Uh, you've then got a 12 volt socket to power it, or you've also got USB. Now I've just gone for 12 volt because I've actually put that 12 volt into this 12 volt so that it's the same power. Um, ultimately, every USB in my van um, is converting 12 volt to 5 volts anyway. So I just thought I'd just plug it into 12 volts, same as that. Um, and I've then got the audio out going into the audio in of the sound bar. Um, it's nice and thin. It is metal construction as well. So, you know, it's been stood up the test. I've had it probably for about three months now. Um, oh, you can see all my stuff there. Uh, that is the only downside. The screen is immensely refractive. It's almost like a mirror. Um, and yeah, I'm probably looking at getting some anti-reflection coating or something. Like I've done for the stereo and the um, GPS. Because that is quite annoying. Hello. It is. I mean, look at that. It's just, you wouldn't even know. <laughs> so yeah. Um, and the two of them together, like I say, just connected in together. And that is it. They both use, so when you've got it powered on, well, all three items, if you like, because this is powered via that. Um, so both use around about 1.3 to 1.5 amps as they're working. Um, and all I've done is widen a little switch there to switch them on and off. Um, obviously powering it on comes on straight away. This comes on in standby mode. So you have to use that switch to switch that on. Um, but overall with the fire stick on there and everything else, it all works fine. If you're asking about my fire stick, it uses the Wi-Fi in the van. So I've got permanent Wi-Fi in the van, um, but that's how it downloads. You could link that up to your phone or whatever else you want to stream from. Um, but ultimately it's Amazon Fire TV. 
So just to give you uh, an indication of how clear it is, I've closed the blinds a little bit inside. I suppose I should have done this at night really, but hey ho. It's a daily vlog, not a nightly vlog. Um, so let's watch my recent Switzerland video. Um, and then you can see the quality and uh, hear the sound as well. Not a bad view. How are you doing your shopping? <laughs> Good morning, folks. And welcome back to the channel and welcome to Switzerland. I'll skip past the boring bit and then we'll, we'll just get to the, yeah. the nice bit. Yeah, such is the wonderful thing of being a YouTuber. I've just realised that I can't play this music on this channel because this music is only licensed to play on the other channel. Yeah, great, isn't it? Um, so the four seconds allows me to get away without getting a copyright strike. But you're just going to have to believe me that it's really good and it sounds really great. But I don't know how else to demonstrate it to you um, without getting a copyright strike. Hey ho. So like I say, I've had that now for, I don't know, a couple of three months. Um, absolutely love it. I love the fact that the picture quality is far better. I will find a solution for the anti-reflective coating, um, one that doesn't... Um, distort the picture so I still get a crisp picture but without getting that reflection because it's annoying as anything but yeah I think that the sound bar is really good as well you get really good sound from it it's bluetooth as well so you can even stream from your phone basically just um, you know play amazon music spotify whatever you want to do something like that so yeah well chuffed with that um I'll put the links down below um I think the sound bar was about 60 quid something like that 30 60 quid, can't remember um, and the TV or the LCD display is about 100 quid, 120 quid, something like that. But like I said, I'll put the links down below. Um, they together are half the weight of the last TV. So bear in mind that the last TV had a, a DVD combo, kind of Avtech, whatever it was. Um, yeah, definitely um, yeah, leaps and bounds technology ahead of the last one. So, um, yeah, as far as I'm concerned, I watch TV still, but I watch it through the Amazon Fire Stick and I can watch live TV, pre-recorded TV. I can watch all the films on Amazon, Netflix, Apple TV, you know, you name it. All the streaming services are on there as well on my Fire Stick. And, um, yeah, very happy with it. It serves its purpose. So a couple of related things as well. Uh, obviously, I mentioned on the Wi-Fi, I'll do a link in the video description about um, my Wi-Fi setup. Still working perfectly. Um, I know a few people mentioned about Starlink. Um, definitely don't see any point in Starlink for me. I think that's a little tech update that'll do. I think that's where I'm going with this channel and these vlogs. I think it's obviously going to include the fact that I live in a van and travel in a van. There's no getting away from that. Um unless someone pulls the green screen behind me <gasps> yeah <laughs> um so yeah it's going to include my life but also i'll try and include technical stuff as well like i talked about um that camera last week and editing um so obviously talking about things going wrong with the van and then other technical stuff as well so i think i will treat this channel as more of a a daily-ish vlog with uh, more of a focus on technical things um, related to obviously living in a van and stuff like that. Um, so I know I get a lot of questions about CCTV and all that kind of stuff. So um, if you are interested in the uh, security um, cameras and everything I've got around the van, um, pop some comments down below um, and then maybe the next one or two, but maybe in a very near future daily vlog, um, and I'll talk about those as well and why I've got them and how well they work and any issues I've found with it and all that kind of stuff. So there we go. So thanks very much for watching and um, yeah, I'll uh, catch you on the next one in a few days. Take care now. Bye.